Welcome to Rodas Reviews and uh, this time we have some new band. Well, new band in the terms of being a debut album. Technically this band called Kasvoton is actually some 10 years old and uh, previously they have been mostly operating with demos and such. However, this time they are here with a self-financed release called uh, Jumalansa Tappanet, Those Who Killed Their God, roughly translated. So let's take a look at this uh, CD before getting into the world of internet with the band's sites. Here you can see the CD and the backside of the CD obviously has the track list. Uh, I'm a little bit curious why this band decided to go for a self-financed release because to be honest this is way more quality than uh, could, ex could be expected from a band going self-financed. I mean that is often the kind of a warning sign like okay you didn't get a record deal because you're not good enough. Well at least that's kind of a sort of an indication but I don't know. Band's prob band probably has a good reason for this. Maybe they didn't find a suitable label, maybe they didn't wind, find a proper deal. Who knows, that's another story. I'm gonna just tap you in with this multi-display kind of a thing. No, really, um, I have just a new computer sitting, so I'm using the screen space here for showing you things. So what we have here on the other window is the band's Bandcamp site, which then again has this new album. To be honest, way too expensive for a digital album. Most bands selling around, I don't know, five to eight euros for a digital album. This one going for 15. For an unknown band, it's a crazy, crazy expensive album. Well, obviously, seller's market. Not, it's buyer's market, really. Well, let's hope that they can actually get something sold, but to be honest, I would never ever buy a digital album for 15 euros. It would have to be something really special, like f something physical. Anyway, maybe, maybe the band is actually selling some copies or whatever. Here you have on the other window, you have actually this metal archive site, which shows you the band image, rather dark and shadowy one. And then you have obviously this discography. And like I said, here you have uh, this, uh, Demos and this EP, Silver of Cosmos, Mutilated Face or something like that, which I reviewed already in 2016, way before Rauda. And while it was definitely something promising, it was still kind of a mediocre kind of stuff. So the band still kind of figuring out what to do with their death metal. But now, 10 years later, you want to stop on it is here. And to be honest, they have basically progressed or evolved in every respect. Now, the first thing which kind of strikes me after the first initial release, listening of this release, is that it's kind of a fast tempo death metal with kind of a dark atmosphere. But the closer we go and you're actually paying more details and, you know, actually making notes of the album, it's not all the way fast tempo, even though there are lots of fast tempo parts. And, I mean, they make a lot of sense. But to be honest, because of this variety with tempo and all that stuff, um, this album seems to be very well balanced. Ving and also the production is quite much supporting the music here. So definitely some kind of American vibe versus the kind of a Swedish or European type of death metal. And I think it's uh, actually nicely done. Not exactly the most memorable, most catchy kind of uh, death metal what's going on here, but still, in my opinion, very much worth a listen. The vocals are, in my opinion, maybe the only one which is still work in progress because they are not exactly properly growling and yet they are not exactly kind of a black metal shrieky type, but more like in between. And um, as such, I think it's not pleasing none of these camps way too quick, too much because first of all, black metal people might just find this album way too that metallic to begin with. And to be honest, I would just make an educated guess that from a death metal perspective you're expecting way stronger, more growly type of vocals. Just, just me making a guess once again. Anyway, uh, I think that's not a big thing. It's not a deal breaker in any ways. So uh, to be honest, I think this is something of a nice release. A good debut nevertheless. 
So in case you have a soft spot for kind of a darker, dead metallic uh, output, give this one a listen, maybe you will like it. At least in my opinion, it's rather nice release. With these words, go check out the links and should you have any questions or comments, put them on the comments box below and I'll get back to you. See you next time. Take care.